Hey, this is Brian Clark, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu of Summerall with the Move of the Month. Uh, this is Nick Clinton going to help us out. Uh, this month we're going to do something on the ground. Uh, we'll do a little choke here from the mount. So if you lay down. Maybe a basic choke that everybody knows, but maybe we can tighten it up a little bit. Run into a problem recently, uh, the guys who are having trouble with this choke. So let's look at a couple of details from the basic collar choke. Uh, the first thing is pull the gi out from under the guy's back so we can really get a good grip. First hand that goes in, always start with the opposite hand to help. So the hand goes in, and I make my grip. You don't have to rest on the ground here. I make my grip. When I make a good grip with the first hand, the second hand finishes the choke but the second hand doesn't have to be as good. However, I want as good a grip as I can get with my second hand, so I always start under. So the second hand goes under, slides through, and now I finish the choke. There. Choke's done. So again, take the collar out from under the back. First hand goes in. Now the second hand always going to slide under back of my hand on the chest, slides, arm straight here. I'm not going to get the hand in this way. Arm straight, use the body. Now, thumbs turn together, start to make a little pull, and I lean on him. It's very important where the weight goes in this choke, and this is one of the things I was running into recently with guys who were having problems here is that they were doing one of two things. When they got the choke, no matter what the grip was they were making, I see a lot of guys doing this. They put the elbows down and lean forward. And when they pull here, it gives the guy enough time to escape. So what I want to do, instead of putting the weight on the guy's chest with my elbows, or the weight on the floor with my knuckles, what I want to do is start to choke here, but I want to put all the weight on the guy's neck. So I hook with my legs here, hook with my heels under the guy, and when I lean forward a little bit, I want the weight to go onto the guy's neck, nowhere else. So as I lean, there's more and more weight pressing on the neck. I still squeeze with the hands. But as my chest moves forward, the pressure is going here on the neck, nowhere else. One more time. Hand in. Good hand there. Second hand under. Good grip. All the weight on the guy's neck. And there's my choke. Nice and easy. All right, so the guy's going to defend a little bit. Let's move on to number two here. I get one hand in. And the guy made his defense here. Don't let me go under here. Yeah. The guy's going to defend always going under. So, we go on top. And right here, everybody sees to get this grip. This grip is not so important. The second hand here needs to be on the neck. Because he's defending this side. Trying to defend this side. Keeping my hand from going under. When I go over here, the idea is not to make a grip here on the wrinkle. The idea, again, is to squeeze the neck. I asked a guy recently, or a group, how do you choke somebody? And the right answer came from a white belt. He said, you squeeze the neck. Absolutely. So, when I put my hand here, I don't reach for the wrinkle. I put the hand on the neck. And now I can start choking without a grip. So any grip I make is going to be good. It's going to add to the choke, but the idea is to put the hand on the neck. And when I move forward, the weight goes on the neck. So here, pressure, grab a little bit behind the neck if I can. Here. And there's the choke. This choke is a little bit different. The finish is a little different. The second hand, when it goes in, I move forward a little bit, but now my elbow from this hand with the thumb in or a grip over either way, the elbow drops down across the neck a little bit. 
And now I make the choke the same way by leaning, but the elbow goes down. So two variations of the choke. One, both hands in, start the choke, weight on the neck, add more weight to the neck. Two, one hand goes in, he doesn't allow the second hand under, so I go on top, weight on the neck, already choking, same pull here, low pressure here, weight forward, I get the choke. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this choke, you know, let me know. Maybe we can add some details to this if you have difficulty with any area. Send me a little message and uh, maybe next month we can tighten it up a little bit more. Alright, that's the cross choke from the mount. Should be the number one attack. Again, this is Brian Clark, Gracie Jiu Jitsu of Summerall. This is Nick Clinton with the Move of the Month.